There are many books to, to which I'm very much attached and, and that influenced me, but if you force me to choose on, only one, I, I will choose Lolita by uh, Nabokov. Uh, first, because of uh, my own uh, autobiographical uh, 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 story, my father gave me this book to read when I was 15 years old, imagine. And I said, but you know, this, is, this book is a scandal. Uh, how do you give it to me? And he said, it's a very good book, uh, it is very elegant, I want you to experience this kind of writing. And he said, and there is no problem, it's about a girl your age. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I read this book, it was the first translation to Hebrew, which was not a good translation. And I remember, it was as if I came into a, a, a palace. Uh, as if I walked into a polished diamond. I felt it is so elegant. I felt it is so bright. I felt that this writer writes like nobody else. Even though I was young, I had quite an experience in writing. And then it also made me uh, modest because it showed me how stupid I am. Uh, at the end of, of the book, when Humbert Humbert is, is close to kill his uh, enemy and the identity of, of the victim is the, is the secret of the book, he says, and now I was standing in front of my enemy whose identity I'm sure the clever reader must have guessed by now. And I was, I was shocked with it. I, I did not guess the identity of this man and I went back to the beginning and started to read again in order to look for clues and I thought that Nabokov thinks I'm not very bright and I was really insulted but still uh, this book I keep reading till today from time to time I open Lolita at any page read some pages makes me feel very good as a writer and as a reader.